Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another Create Your Creative Studio subscription box. This is from the June 2023, um, it's the June 2023 box, excuse me. I understand based on the message that it is hydrangea themed, which is, oh, I love hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are one of, I have so many favorite flowers. Hydrangeas are my favorite flower to watercolor paint. And so I'm excited to see what's in here. Now, typically when I do an unboxing, I also do a project following. Um, it'll just kind of depend on timing. So um, I might attach this video with another video with a make. I'm not sure. Otherwise, I'll come back in another video and do a project with the uh, with bits from the kit. So let's get going. It's always exciting. It's like Christmas, you guys. It's totally like Christmas. I love it. So, oh, look at the card. Oh, truly, truly, it is hydrangeas. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Okay, and they're beautiful packaging as usual. So let me just get this out of the way. <clears throat> We're just going to try to ease this off of here. There we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to help myself from making something right away with this gorgeousness. So here we've got um, some washi. So I'm just going to tear this because I have been ending up having to cut the flap off anyway if I reuse them. So this is the washi. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Let's see if I can find the end without too much difficulty. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. I love that color. They are actually my favorite color of hydrangeas are the kind of the bluish purple ones. So we've got some little ephemera here. Let's see what this is. This would make a great ephemera bit for a for a journal. I need to do a crash your trash. I totally need to do a crash your trash. That would crash your trash. This would be a great little pocket. So we've got lots of little bits of paper, all kind of springy colors here. So we've got some beautiful florals. Oh, we've got some vellum. Oh, so this is different kinds of paper too. Oh, look at that. So pretty. I love it. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, I just love their boxes. Love them, love them. Oh, look at the purple. I think those are like, I think, are those a peony? Maybe those might be a peony. They look like, I love to paint those too. I love to paint watercolor paint. All kinds of flowers. Beautiful. Look at all this gorgeousness. Love it. Win, win, win. I'm going to set that over there. And then what do we have here? Oh, what's this? What is this? Is it like a sticker? It is. Oh, look at that. They're, they are actually things that are cut out of the paper. So let's pull one out just for kicks here. Like they're, they're like die cuts. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, I might have to make a little mini envelope kind of a uh, little dealio just to get my hands on this stuff so beautiful so I can't really tell what all the shapes are without pulling them off but that's really epic let's see what's in here so the boxes as you probably noticed in the last box that I did for I think it was the May box it had um, it was tropical themed had a lot of flamingo stuff but it also had a lot of like vintage stuff like roses and little tickets and stuff like that so that's I think that's kind of how they tend to do this so this is just a little little bit of retro stuff it looks like these are stickers are they are they transparent I can't quite tell let's let's take one out and see no harm no foul this never goes very well for me on camera though, unfortunately. Or are they, or are they not? They are not transparent, but that is still really cool. But they are stickers, which is awesome. 
really awesome. So we've got all this vintage beauty. Look at that. These would be great for clusters. I say that every time because I, I guess I think that little things make great clusters. <laughs> really, really cool. Sorry, I wasn't even really holding that up for you guys. An old London Chronicle newspaper. Awesome. And so that's the thickness of that little book. This, this um, subscription box, you guys, is so affordable. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. So let's see what's in here. Oh, beautiful box. Wouldn't it be fun to make a little journal that would fit in this box? <gasps> I might have to do that. This would be so easy to cover too, is all I would have to do is separate this so I could cover the whole inside and outside of this with some thin paper and then just make a little little journal to fit in here. We'll have to see about that. And this I would just leave as is. I would just let it be purple and maybe, I don't know, reinforce it maybe with the washi or something. We'll see. But look at this stuff. Oh my goodness. I need to move this stuff so I can actually put thing, some things in front of me. I'm going to move this just a little bit closer since I'm going down to the table here. So we've got these thick, thick cards. These are really nice. They're like labels. I love the light color. Really, really festive. And they're embossed. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. They are in embossed. They're a little bit raised and indented. That is as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, look at the butterflies. Oh, I love these so much. The flowers bloom and fall. Yes, yes, they do. I have a hard time with fall. That's one of the reasons. It's because everything dies, and I know it all dies so that new growth can happen, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I struggle with it. These are adorable little tags. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I love the tones and the colors. Love them. That's, this, this is a consideration here uh, to make a little journal. I'm gonna have to think on that. So, I want to save the paper for last somehow. I This was kind of upside down when I opened it, so I want to get the, the stamps. There's usually stamps in the box. Let's see what this is. I probably will do a project, guys. You know me. I have to. Oh, interesting. This is completely... Oh, look. Oh, this would make a great piece of ephemera as well. <laughs> Recycle. This pops out, and then we have, oh, look at this. All these little flowers, these little pieces of paper. Are they stickers? A lot of times they're stickers. Yep. Oh, they're, they're more transparent. Not transparent completely, but they're definitely thinner. That is really cool as well. Look at those. Oh, my gosh. Flowers, flowers, flowers try to show you a little flippiness here flip through of it we've got some fruit some apples some strawberries oh this is lovely very cool I would probably save this for the spring um, just because I'm not really creating I mean I do I am going to be doing a design team project using a spring birds kit but that's going to be coming up I figure I'll do that um, here before winter winter happens <laughs> um, so let's see what what this is I see a nice little vellum pouch here which is always fun 30 pieces of something I think there's some kind of labels oh look at these oh my gosh look at these oh there I think there oh look at these oh my gosh it out you guys these are absolutely stunning I'll try to get a look at this one I love the gold and the purple so beautiful my sister I have a sister whose favorite color is purple this would make a really fun journal for her because she's not a journaler but it would be something fun to put you know some pretty things in it I might do that maybe I'll do that for her for Christmas so, oh, awesome. These are little transparent stickers. 
uh oh and I just dropped them all on the floor. <laughs> I guess I'll pick those up when I'm done. They look kind of pretty on the floor. Okay, here we go. This is a stamp. I love their stamps. Very generous, very generous. So, oh, we've got several in here. Oh, I just love hydrangeas, you guys. Look at that. And I love the little size of this. Look at that. And their stamps are really, really good quality, you guys. I have never been disappointed. They are awesome. Let me take that top plastic off. It helps you to see the image a little bit better. Really cool. And then here's just a little bunch of them. Let me take that off and see if you guys can see that. It's a little bit hard because it still is shiny, but very, very cool. And looks like this is just a single one. I think that one already came off, but it's just a single little, little bloom. Very, very cool. Okay, let's see. This is another cling stamp. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's got the hydrangea, it's got a butterfly, a lily, calla lilies, butterflies. That is gorgeous. Maybe I'll do that for my project. Maybe we'll do some little, like little um, cards that can go in a journal that have hand painted watercolor hydrangeas. That might be one great project for those. So we'll think about that as well. Okay, let's see what's in here. I know I ooh and ah a lot and this ends up taking longer, but I am me. So let's just kind of flip through this one. So we've got again, some old papers. Oh, these are really beautiful. Really beautiful. So they usually have more than one of each design. So it looks like in this one, there's two of each design. I love this kind of um, cardstocky color. Let's see what's up here in the front. White. Oh, again, beautiful collage fodder here. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it looks like they're the same, but they're just on the, the lighter paper. I love that. Very, very cool. I need to have just a whole separate drawer that I can put all of my Your Creative Studio stuff in. Especially, um, I mean, I use the bigger stuff pretty easily, but the smaller things like the labels and stuff I tend to forget about just because I've got so much stuff here in the studio. These are like journal cards. So these are really pretty. So again, two of each design. Very, very cool. So two of that and that. Sorry, my fingers aren't working very well. This would be so beautiful in a spring journal so beautiful oh my gosh they're um they're thick they're like cardstock thick i don't know if you can hear that really really cool oh we've got some hydrangeas back here oh look at the rose oh that's gorgeous i'm a pink rose fanatic oh my goodness that is beautiful and there's our beautiful hydrangeas oh my goodness that is so gorgeous Wow, oh, every time I'm like, oh, this is my favorite kit, this is my favorite this is subscription box, and then the next one comes. I have to tell you that the, the Tropical one was not was not up my alley, but um, when you go onto their website, you can pick, and I don't know, I haven't really paid a lot of attention to it, how much, if it gives any information about what the theme is for the box, um, but um, hopefully you could um, poke around and just choose the boxes that you that you'd like but these are really cool too these are those transparent oh no nope, these are just stamps they're sticky usually these are transparent but these ones are not really really beautiful though look at that oh i love that color of hydrangea too oh beautiful 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 okay so here is the paper. This is one of my favorite parts of every box. It always comes with a paper pack that has six sticker paper, six vellum, six art paper, and six pattern paper. So let's see what these look like today. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. This is the sticker paper. Oh, 
this is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that one. Wow, you guys, they knocked it out of the park again. That's the the sixth one of that. And oh, this is the sixth one, excuse me. And then this is, I think, the art paper. So it's usually the same exact design, just in a different weight of paper. So I love this one. This is very striking. I think I, I really like how this pink has come up into this area and it kind of looks like a watermark. Very, very artistic. Love it. So that's that. And then this is the, um, the lighter paper. So the same, same images again. I love this is very interesting too. Very interesting. And then the vellum is here, which oh, I love the vellum. It's a little bit thick. Maybe it's because of the dark colors. I mean, you gotta think about the, the vibrancy of those colors of flowers are just striking that I imagine that's making it a little bit less transparent. So see how that one's more transparent. You can see my hand behind it. But oh, I love these so much. So that is it, my friends. So um, I think I'm going to call it good for this um, for this video um, because I've got some things on my plate um, for the next few days that's not going to allow me to get in the studio and create. Um, I'm in like the hardest season of my year, and so I um, I need to hibernate a little bit and just putz around my home and um, do some self care. So I will be doing a little bit less creating, um, probably just planning for the next week's videos. But um, we'll just let this be good enough for today and I'll come back in video two and we will do a project with this beautiful, beautiful subscription box. Thank you so much, Your Creative Studio. All the links will be below in the description box. Take care. Bye-bye.